All right. So um, my name is Niranda. Let me talk, walk you guys through Silent and Silent Flow and how we use Parcel to bring high performance data engineering in supercomputing. So like everybody talked about today, it's it's all about data science domain being expanded monumentally because of AI, ML, all of that. But one thing's for sure is that there's a significant development time is being spent on prototyping, pre-processing, and exploring what the data what this data is. So traditionally it was SQL, which people use, but SQL is no more. And people are moving towards functional. And this is where we see the data frames uh, come into play. And this was led by our data frames, and now it's it's pandas because of the Python world domination, somebody could say. And it's taking pandas along with it. And some attribute Python's uh, popularity is, is because of pandas as well. Some people say that. But anyway, uh, looking at when we are looking at terabytes of data, everybody understands that it's beyond the capability of a single node. So we'll have to think of a distributed solution to it. And on the other hand, uh, pandas and R data frames, yes, they are really nice in a single load uh, machine, but there are performance limitations when it comes to large data sets. And if you look at the distributed data frames that are available today, they're still in working progress and we'll see some of the timing results. Um, so uh, this is our take for distributed data frames. It's about how to develop so the main question we want to answer is to is to how to develop a high performance and a scalable data frame runtime. And we take a leaf out of HPC playbook. We are looking at a bulk synchronous parallel uh, answer to it. Uh, it's a, it would be a distributed memory parallel data frame runtime. And we are looking at style, uh, Apache Arrow column format predominantly for uh, vectorizing operators. And then it's developed on, on top of C++ and then we use Cython uh, bindings for Python. And currently Cython supports OpenMPI, UCX, and Glue under the for communication. Um, all our distributed operators are developed in-house and I'll show you a bit of how those are constructed. And we try to uh, follow the Pandas API and currently we have about 25% of the key uh, Twenty-five percent of pandas operators uh, that covers most of the key uh, data frame operators, and then we extend the whole idea into GSILIN as well. That goes into CUDA. So we would like to keep uh, take the bragging rights of saying that SILIN is the first and only data frame in MPI. And um, we look at what we're trying to do in SILIN is that we are looking at a core operator like a join or a group by so on and so forth. Uh, that can be provided by NumPy, Pandas, Arrow, QDF, anywhere. And then we provide a set of local auxiliary operators and a set of communication routines so that we could elevate a local operator into a distributed memory parallel operator. That's essentially what Silent does internally. So uh, interestingly, we do show the, the bulk synchronous parallel execution shows really good, uh, strong uh, scalability compared to Dask and Modin. And I have some recent timings from Spark as well. Um, so as you could see all these blue blue lines here, we, we, we try our best to stay true to HPC so that our implementations are as scalable as possible. And they are at least as be best as pandas in single node or better and we try our best to make sure that it scales with the amount of resources you throw into it. Now, um, Silent is BSP, that brings us some problems. We can't use Silent in a Jupyter, a Jupyter notebook. And also how to use Silent in, in supercomputers is a bit of a problem we've come, uh, come across. And this is where we, we, uh, we, we, we found out Parcel and we take Parcel as a, as a what we propose to Parcel is a bulk synchronous parallel executor, um, which executes MPI tasks on a subcommunicator. This is interestingly coincided with uh, the radical pilot and Parcel integration. 
and we we are working very closely with the radical pilot team as well on on silum flow and silent on supercomputers and what silent flow does is uh provide in this bug synchronous parallel executor and it supports it extends this idea into parcel radical pilot as well as the other cloud computing software like dask and brit um so what uh, for the future we are looking at some large experiments on leadership class supercomputers is a collaboration with the radical pilot team and then also silen is uh, we are testing out the tpcx bb benchmark on silen and in terms of operators silen is still we are developing the window operators for silen which is a big part of pandas api uh, bsp uh, has a bit of a tricky scenario when it comes to fault tolerance and the work imbalance uh, due to skewed data sets so uh, we are looking at how to resolve these these issues um under the hood of silen so um that's a quick overview of silen and silen flow uh, do join us uh, we are available uh, do check out silen on github and uh, our mailing list is google groups um slack is also there if, if anybody wants to talk to us so any questions uh more than happy to answer hey thank you any questions including from zoom i guess i'm i'm uh, maybe a little bit unsure of how to ask this exactly but it does seem like this is really kind of two different models that are being put together in some way exactly that's true because uh traditionally parcel and any of the data engineering workloads that are available nowadays are fully asynchronous execution they use a queue and set of tasks that are being executed in a remote set of resources but <clears throat> as you've seen uh, as a, as i showed in some of the uh, scalability graphs but uh, sometimes this can be really tricky when you want to scale your application in a distributed setting so uh we we still feel like i know boxing grass parallel is coming it's about 30 40 years old but still that model stays true when it comes to say scalability so uh what we are doing is we are taking that we are taking a leaf out of that and then merging bsp with uh, uh asynchronous execution using a workflow model using so that's where the parcel came in actually for us okay i think that makes more sense than thank you um any other questions okay well thank you again